let me ask you a question. So all you, yeah. all of you have been, uh, 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 com- you were a comedian. You yeah. tried in Colorado. You stepped away into business. You're still a comedian, yeah. and you're obviously uh, still uh, uh, performing as well. So what is the difference between today? Because you've been in it uh, 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 90s, 2000s, 2010s, yeah. now 2020s. Like I think about a Justin Bieber, right? How the guy found Justin Bieber. Usher sisters like, oh look at this guy. Okay, oh my God, this guy's kids playing sitting, you know, it was pretty sick. What if there was no Uber? Would we have a Justin Bieber that we have today? I don't know. You see how uh, uh, back in the days, uh, uh, the the what is the group? Uh, don't stop believing. That's is that journey. Ju- journey. Journey. They find a Filipino guy that comes and becomes a lead. So. Has it when you see some guys like? Is there a lot of stories of people that just pop up and oh, they're they chose to become a comedian? They got a big following. Year and a half later, they're comedians. They're getting specials. Is that what's happening today, or was that not the way it was 20, 30 yeah, years ago? I, 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 it's a very good question. You know, when I came up, there was no social media, so you were always thrown into a room, and it was in Boston. It was in New York. It was in Kansas. It was in L.A. It was in Bakersfield, wherever it was. Idaho is random. Now, here was the difference. They were strangers who didn't know you. And, oh, by the way, they didn't share a common sensibility. I can do stand-up now in Mumbai or Bombay, and they're going to get the jokes that they get in Los Angeles because the Internet has brought us together. There is this sort of collective consciousness, this neural net, if you will, that we all tap into. Not so coming up. So most of my career, most of Bill Burr's, Rogan's, all of the older guys were, were – we came up in Boston, Pittsburgh with a bunch of working class dudes going, I don't know you. I work for a living. Make me laugh. And it got quiet quick if you didn't bring the money. If you didn't bring the money and you were doing your esoteric stuff, That's so if you were up in Canada and then you came down to Miami, I promise you it's a different group. And if you're up there doing your stuff now, now what's happened is you can curate your own audience. Mm -hmm. You have people that have been listening to you on a podcast forever. So you have your fans are there and they're there. It's like your family. They're already laughing because they just want to have an experience with you. But the pressure is not the same. So so I think in many ways, I'll take heat for this, but I think in many ways that's not so good for comedy. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. It's diluted because now I, I think I told Patrick earlier, if you just make a TikTok video and you have you know millions of followers, like you said, they'll come watch you. They'll pay the ticket yeah. and go, you'll fill up a theater. Yes. And it's not it's diluted comedy. To me, Brian, this yeah. is me. Don't I'm not and I hate when people go, oh, you're hating or the hustle. I didn't I didn't say none of that shit. What I'm saying is he came up before me, but like you had to go to these rooms and you had to fill like it was word of mouth. Mm-hmm. Like you became dope because you people did, talked you did, about you around the country. You, you did know? legacy media, right? That's you'd go it. and do the the radio tour in the morning. All of us did. No, I don't care who you were. Yeah. And also nobody was making money. You gotta remember that like, now comics are making money. So so let me ask you. You didn't so make money back today. Then. Uh, uh, who is a like a real, real OG comedian, even if you were to take out social media? So take out, they have Bill no Burr. follow. Okay, so Bill yeah. is one. Yeah, I can listen to Bill all day long. Sebastian Maniscalco. I, we had him on last year at the event. Yeah. He was yeah, a freaking amazing. A Dove Davidoff doesn't do comedy as much anymore, but a monster. Beast. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. Sam Tripoli. No, he doesn't, you know, people don't know what a monster. You can put Sam Tripoli up anywhere, anytime. He'll do an hour and then do a whole new hour. And he can do the most <laughs> offensive shit or the or the greatest stuff. You he just chooses. You know there are guys like that that Pull came up, up doing Sam nothing Tripoli. but stand up. Oh, Sam is dope. Um, yeah, Sam but there's so many guys. Vinny's f- a phenomenal. Have you seen? I mean, there are a lot of guys who are just who who can get up there and crush a room and anywhere it is. So I was if I had known Vinny was here, I know that I could take Vinny and put him up anywhere in the country. Thank you. And he's going to he's going to oh, for, he's going to take 30 minutes and crush that room. Mm. I can tell you who he is because he came up the right way. So, you know, but but any of the old guys Rogan, you know, Joe's Joe was doing Joe was see people don't realize this either. And I've known, I've known Joe since I was 28, 27. Joe was crushing you've never seen anyone and i'm gonna say you've never seen anyone crush a room like he did when he was 28 29 30 31 32 he would get up anywhere i don't care if it was mars <laughs> and that dude he had, a, he had a he had a bit about two fi- tigers having sex <laughs> dude i can't even it would it would bring the house down <laughs> it would bring the house down he would melt it good luck following him yeah good luck 
I don't care who. I saw the biggest comics in the world try to follow that. It was like, oh, no, no, no. The oxygen's gone, guys. The oxygen's gone. I watched him in Jacksonville. He invited me. I went up there in Jacksonville and listened to him. I felt like I had an ab workout. At the oh, front. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was like. He, he, and that's now. But back then, he was just doing. Now he's trying to say things. Now yeah. it's like there's a through line. There's a theme. Yeah. Back then, mm-hmm. it was just, I'm going to. I'm going to, that's all we, so we would get up and it was just, all it was, was I'm going to see if I can, this is when you knew you were killing it. If you could do an hour and 15 minutes and nobody got up to go to the bathroom, that's, that's when you know huge. you're crushing. Mm. That for me, that was, that's my, that's still my barometer. Like I'm looking, I'm going, if I can keep these dudes, if I can kill these guys for that long without anybody. And then, then you know you did your job because when you're done, they, they all run. No, no bathroom they don't, breaks. They don't, they don't want to miss set. anything. That's when you're doing it. Right, let me ask you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.